to my channel so today's video is going to be my january favorites i have a few products here to share with you guys i have beauty and that's pretty much it actually um and one kind of like techie item um so if you guys want to see my favorites for this month then please keep watching thing i've been loving this month i actually showed you guys in a haul so this palette right here is my new favorite to be honest blows all the morphe palettes out of the park let me just say that um and the main reason is is because not only does it have neutrals but it just has like all these fun colors and with spring and summer coming around i feel like these colors are just gonna look beautiful on the eyes and i'm actually planning so many tutorials with this um but i actually showed you guys one tutorial with this palette and that was with my valentine's day full coverage uh look and I did decide to use more of these shades down here, but I really want to show you guys some type of look with these greens here. It's coming up very soon, I promise to you guys. I'm really loving this palette. It's such a great palette, and if I didn't mention it already, it's actually called the Morphe 29A palette. And I believe these are actually currently sold out, but you can definitely get your hands on them once they come back in to morphe.com. But I would definitely recommend you... Uh, putting your email down to let you know when it's exactly going to come back in because people are buying these like crazy the formula of this is out of this world it literally blends so good the pigmentation of these eyeshadows are amazing and i'm definitely going to be using this palette a lot more throughout the year so the next item i have is actually a concealer i don't know if i've ever talked about this concealer here on my channel i know i've kind of did tutorials with it but i don't know if i've actually ever really um talked about it um but this is the la girl pro concealer and this is the hd high definition concealer and it just looks like this and the thing that i love about this concealer the more the most is that for one it's really affordable and two it's a really good coverage and three it just looks really flawless underneath the eyes like any concealer that I've ever had that's more on the higher end side definitely doesn't do anything like this one does. It is called the LA Girl Pro Concealer and they actually make several different shades in this and I actually do have a darker shade and I liquid contour with it. But for the most part I just use this one to just to highlight and cover my dark circles and I just really love the way it looks. And I like how it has this brush applicator so you can just get underneath the eyes and on any areas that you want to highlight and i just think it's such a good concealer i believe this concealer is like literally like 2.99 or something like that okay so this concealer i'm completely out of as you guys can see but um it was funny because i was actually going through my makeup collection and i knew that i used to really love this and i was like you know what i really need to use this up because it's getting old and i started using it and i love this concealer i'm actually going to repurchase this because i'm all out um i really like this concealer because it just makes your under eyes look so good it's actually made to um do age rewinding um underneath the eyes which i think is super cool i don't really know if it's doing age rewinding to be honest because uh my fine lines right here are very subtle um and i only notice them more when i use a concealer that's more mattifying or dry looking um but this concealer doesn't do that with me i just feel like it just makes my under eyes look really smooth um but the thing that i've been loving doing is actually putting this underneath my eyes and anywhere else that i kind of have a little bit of redness and then throwing this product right on top now i don't think i've ever talked about any clinic products here on my channel but if you guys do know, um, I work for Estee Lauder, Clinique, Smashbox, and Origins. Um, but the main counter that I do work for is Estee Lauder, but I can get Clinique products and sell them as well. Um, and then this is the Almost Powder. This is 03 Light. That's the shade that I am. And as you guys can tell, like, this thing is almost gone. Um, so yeah, I've been really loving... I can't tell if that's outside or the TV. Okay, that's definitely outside. Okay, anyways, I have been really loving this powder with this concealer for mornings or days that I don't really want to do too much with my face. Um, a lot of the times I do this when I'm kind of running a little bit late for work, to be honest, or when I just want a really light look. 
I will just throw this on underneath the eyes and kind of around the nose and on the center of the nose, blend it out, and then throw this powder on top, put a little bit of mascara, put some gloss on, and then I'm good to go. Um, so that's kind of like my everyday five minute makeup, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I've been really loving this powder too because this powder actually has really good coverage. Um, this powder you can, I wear it on its own, but you can actually wear it over uh, foundation. I haven't tried it with foundation, but um, I've been really liking it by itself and it works just fine for me as far as coverage goes. I don't have the most amazing skin in the world, um, so it does still cover up my redness and any imperfections that I do have. And I've actually been using this brush for it um, from Royal Lay Nickel. Um, they actually sent me a full brush set, but this is the one that I've been actually using with this powder. So I will just take it in the little pan like that and kind of just like really buff it into my face. And to be honest, it almost looks like I'm wearing foundation, which is super cool because it's like a powder foundation. Okay, so speaking of foundation, this is the foundation that I've been wearing every single day of this month um and i don't know if i've mentioned this on my channel either um but this is the covergirl outlast stay fabulous three in one foundation and this is in the color buff beige 825 of drugstore foundations so usually don't but this one does come with a pump and this foundation is like bomb you guys like if you have oily skin and you have like texture on your face or even if you don't have texture on your face but you have really oily skin this is amazing because it has super good coverage and it also is very mattifying um and it just looks really really smooth on the skin two products i have are not makeup related but they are beauty related so this is the first one um and i know i never never really talk about hair stuff here on my channel just because like to be honest my hair is very boring like i don't really do too much with it i either have it up like this in a messy bun or i straighten it or i curl it like, those are the really um, only three hairstyles I do to be honest, but I do like to really uh, maintain my hair uh, being healthy. So this is the one and only argan oil. This is Moroccan oil extract. It's oil treatment and this says it can be applied on wet hair and dry hair but I like putting it on wet hair because I feel like if I do it on dry hair it just makes my hair look oily and I don't like that um, and I like the way it looks once it dries with my wet hair. Um, so I've actually been really liking this, not only because of the smell, the smell is actually really good, but, um, it makes my hair like super soft and shiny and silky, and I've noticed that every single time I use this when I get out of the shower, it just leaves my hair frizz-free, shiny, smooth, soft, and it's just like a whole difference when I use this on my hair. Um, whenever I don't use this on my hair, my, I wake up with frizzy hair, my hair is like dry and dull at the end and it just feels like disgusting so i really like using this on my hair whenever it is wet because i feel like it just really hydrates my whole entire hair so this next product is actually victoria's secret related and um i actually got this on a sale it wasn't the semi-annual sale but i went to victoria's secret and they had these on sale for like 12 dollars or something and this is actually the body spray I wish this actually had like a description so that I can tell you. The scent is actually called Oh So Sexy and I don't really know how to describe this scent to be honest because it's a very different scent. Like it's not too sweet but it's like floral and like woodsy smelling if that makes sense. Like kind of a little musky but not too musky. It smells like really good and I do recommend this for... Um, somebody that wants to keep something like this in their gym bag after they work out um, or just in the purse to touch up. I personally don't do any of that. I just keep it there on my um, shelf and then whenever I get out of the shower or whenever I want to spray myself with it, I will. So the next thing I want to talk about, I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel um, or I've even mentioned that I've gotten it, but I actually did get an Apple Watch. I got it like three months ago I want to say three three months ago two months ago something like that but the main reason why I wanted to mention it is because this has like literally saved my life like I can answer back text messages you know without looking at my phone answer phone calls like I feel like I never really miss text messages anymore because I 
used to have a bad habit of whenever I would have my phone, I would be like, okay, I'm going to respond back to that person. And then I never would just because like I would forget about it. But with the notification being on my actual wrist, I never miss a notification. But what I really like about it is I can actually view my social media from here, which is super cool because, you know, being at work, I can't exactly be on my phone. Um, but I do really want to respond back to comments and, you know, answer any emails and stuff like that. And I love that I can do that all with my Apple Watch. Um, and also I do have like an outside clientele from work and sometimes they do contact me. Um, and it would be hard to like respond back to them really quick because I would be at work. So I like that I can do all this. Um, while I'm at work and also like the main reason too I really love it is because whenever I'm driving I love listening to music and I hate you know going through my phone and having to look for music I can do it all from my watch like I can have my hand on the steering wheel while I'm like you know changing the song and still keep my eyes on the road versus having my phone and looking down and trying to you know concentrate on the road it's just it's just kind of like a hassle for me so I really like that I can alternate it um, through my watch um, and also the GPS is cool too because as you're driving say you're coming up on a turn that you're supposed to turn at it will start vibrating or if you have it on ringer um, it will start to make a beeping noise when you want to turn or when you're supposed to turn and I just really feel like it helps me out with directions and I just really love it um, but yeah I do have the rose gold pink one of course um, and this is the original band. I do have other bands for it, but I feel like they're made very cheaply because I do get them on Amazon. Um, and this one is my favorite one so far. I like this band. I wasn't a big fan of it as at first because, to be honest, it's a little hard to put on by myself. But I've actually gotten the hang of getting it on um, a little faster now. Uh, but yeah, I've been really loving that as well. So something I really wanted to mention on my channel is a game. Um, I don't really talk about games here on my channel just because, like, to be honest, I get really bored with some games. But this is actually my second time um, trying to play this game. Um, so this is actually called Bakery Story. And um, how you play the game is you basically have, like, neighbors and stuff and you can um, give them tips but what I really like is that you can make food and decorate your bakery so this is actually what my bakery looks like I don't know if you guys can see that from here let me try to zoom in a little more bakery is actually completely pink which I think is super cool um, so you guys should definitely add me if you do play this game I will leave my name down below my storm ID where you guys can add me um, I just think it's super cute and super fun and you can just bake stuff and build different ovens um, but the main challenge is to get like your bakery looking so cute um, and you can do like so many different stuff with this on here and you can add so many people and talk to different people um, but yeah this is my second time playing it the first time I had it I loved it I would play it all the time but then I did erase it because I felt like I didn't have that much time to play it anymore but I've actually been really enjoying doing this on my free time whenever I'm not you know working on YouTube videos or not at work I really love playing this game so like I said I will leave my storm ID down below okay so that is gonna be it for today's video I hope you guys really enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little bell down below that way you guys can be notified every single time I upload I do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. But yeah, that is going to be it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!